e-learning with NUT Endo Mother Science School, MENA. <laughs> Good day all. Um, I'm happy to meet you all. This is teacher Suleiman D online. Today I will be taking the subject area of uh, numeracy. We'll be looking into the topic. Today we'll be discussing weight. about uh, weight. Meaning of weight. Weight is the measure of the amount of matter in a body. I repeat. Weight is the measure of the amount of matter in a body. When you measure how heavy an object is, is weight. If you want to know how heavy an object is, that is, you are taking the weight of that object or that body. The standard unit of weight is the kilogram. The standard unit of weight is the kilogram. The kilogram is written as kg. That is the symbol that signifies the kilogram is kg. The kg is used as a unit when weighing heavy object. When weighing heavy object take note of that statement the kg is used as a unit when weighing heavy objects like motor cars bags of cement now if you look at this statement we cannot use the unit of gram to measure the weight of a car or the weight of bags of cement Whenever an object is heavy, the unit being used is the kilogram. Now, we are moving to the gram. The gram is another unit used for measuring weight. The gram is used when weighing lighter object like biro, feather, pencil, etc. When you are weighing a lighter object, when you are weighing lighter objects, the unit used is called the gram. And the symbol for the gram is G. Letter G, that is lowercase g, signifies the gram. It is used when weighing lighter objects. For example, if I want to weigh a sheet of paper, after getting the actual weight of that paper, the unit is going to be gram, not the kilogram, because the kilogram is used in weighing heavy objects. Unit conversion. Unit conversion. Basically, we have two units. Why weighing weights? We have the kilogram and the gram. The kilogram is bigger than the gram. The kilogram is used in weighing heavy objects, while the gram is used in weighing lighter objects. For example, today we are going to look into conversion of kilogram to gram. Kg to G. If one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 gram, that is, in every one kilogram, there are 1,000 grams in it. For example, I have a bottle of one kilogram. That bottle has 1,000 gram in it, which is equivalent to that one kilogram. Now, if you are giving two bottles one of the bottle is having one kilogram of water and the other one is having one thousand gram 
their weight are the same because in one kilogram we have 1000 grams now if you want to get the number of grams that are in two kilograms you multiply the two by 1000 to get the 2000 grams three kilograms three kilograms is equivalent to three thousand grams by multiplying three by one thousand and so on note that 0 0.5 kilogram is equivalent to 500 grams what is 0 0.5 0 0.5 simply means half one over two half that is half of 1000 is 500 isn't it so 0 0.5 kilogram means half kilogram and half kilogram is equivalent to what 500 grams that is 0 0.5 kilogram is equal to 500 grams take notes 0 0.5 kilogram is equal to what 500 gram now i'm going to i'm going to give you more example as we go on we are going to have more numbers one kilogram is equivalent to one thousand grams two kilogram is equivalent to two thousand grams by multiplying the number of kilograms by one thousand to get the grams instruments or tools for measuring weights instruments or tools for measuring weights we have an instrument before you all right the first instrument here we have is we have the foot balance what did i say foot balance that's the first instrument or tools for measuring weights all right let's move, let's move on we have the, the second instrument here the balance scale what did i say balance scale we can see the picture before us all right the third instrument here is the pan balance pan balance let's have the picture let's see all right good this is the pan balance all right so take note of it the first time we have the foot balance we have this balance scale and we also have the pan balance they are the instrument or tools used for measuring weights calculations involving unit conversion calculations involving unit conversion example one convert the following weights to gram i repeat convert the following weights to gram let's have the question a nine kilogram nine kg don't forget i say kg means what kilogram b 2.5 kilogram 2.5 kilogram now let's see the working all right the a part we say since one kilogram is equivalent to 1000 grams recall i said it earlier on that one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams therefore nine kilogram you multiply nine by 1000 which is what nine thousand grams nine thousand grams simple now if you are to multiply nine by one thousand you have the nine there isn't it you bring your nine how many zero do you have in 1030 you now bring the three zero at the back of the nine which is going to have nine thousand grams so whenever you are whatever you are multiplying a number with a thousand you write the number if number is in one digit you write the digit number first and you write the numbers of zeros of one thousand which is three zero isn't it at the back of the digit number you get your actual answer just as the case may, might be here yeah? which we have nine multiplied by one thousand we have nine thousand grams that is nine thousand grams is equ uh, equivalent to what nine gram nine kilogram if you have 
9,000 grams. If your friend has 9,000 grams and you are having 9 kilograms, both of you have the same weight. Your weight are the same. The person with 9 kilograms and other person that, that is with 9,000 grams are having the same weight. Secondly, we have the next question, 2.5 kilograms. 2.5 kilograms. Now you have to separate this. These, they are in decimal point. You have decimal point here, 0. 0.5. Now 0. 0.5 means 0. 0.5. 0. 0.6 means 0. 0.6. 0. 0.7 is 0. 0.7. Now the first digit here is the 2. 2 kilogram plus 0. 0.5 is 0. 0.5 kilogram. So when you add 2 kilogram plus 0. 0.5 kilogram, you are going to have 2.5 kilogram. So whenever you have a number that has decimal, you separate the first number before the decimal, and the number after the decimal is going to have zero point the number after the decimal. That is why we're having two kilogram plus 0 0.5 kilogram. Now, how many grams are in two kilogram? 2,000 grams, isn't it? By multiplying two by 1,000, we have your 2,000 gram plus 0 0.5 kilogram. Is equivalent to 500 grams because half of 1000 is 500. I said it when I was explaining the units of weight. I said it earlier on that 0 0.5 means half, and half of 1000 is what 500 grams. Now we have to add 2000 grams and 500 grams again 2000 grams and 500 grams when you put them together hmm? teacher Suleiman is having 2000 grams teacher Muhammad is having 500 grams now when we put them together with the 2000 and the 500 together we have 2500 2, grams 2500 grams all right now look at it simple now if you look at the first digits in the thousand is two now when you bring your two down you bring the 500 behind the two to make it 2500 for example i can also have 3000 plus 500 the first digit of 3000 is three i'll bring my three down and bring the 500 behind the Three, which is 3,500. Thank you very much. Now let's move on. We have a question for you here. Four questions. You are going to attempt it and get back to me. Number one, how many grams are in three kilograms? How many grams are in three kilograms? Two, change 4.5 kilogram to gram. Change 4.5 kilogram to gram. Three. How many grams are in 3.5 kilograms? How many grams are in 3.5 kilogram? Four. How many grams are in 8.5 kilogram? How many grams are in 8.5 kilogram? Don't forget, 0.5 means 0 0.5. 8.5, you have to separate it, the 8 kilogram and your 0 0.5 before adding it together, okay? Thank you very much for listening.